rationale and that this Republican strategist provided. Yep. So then what happens? So it's June 27th. It's the last day of the Supreme Court term. The U.S. Supreme Court, very busy this morning. And we start with some breaking news from the nation's highest court. The court is announcing several decisions. The census decision is the very last decision. And there comes a surprise. We have Chief Justice John Roberts writing for the majority. And in the beginning of the decision, it looks like what I would have predicted, that the administration's going to win. Mm -hmm. He rules for the administration on several points. He says they did violate the Constitution, that this voting rights rationale was not arbitrary and capricious, but... The court ruled that the Trump administration's explanation for adding a citizenship question to the census is, quote, insufficient. In the last pages of the decision, and in language that seems kind of thrown together, maybe evidence of a late-in-the-day switch on his thinking. He says, but you know what? The administration loses because this sounds like a pretext to me. This is contrived. Then goes on to say that we cannot ignore the disconnect between the decision made and the explanation given again. And he rules against the administration, at least provisionally, leaves the door ajar a tiny bit to say maybe you can come back with a different reason. I don't know. Do you, with all the horse shit, does it matter? In this very area of can Wilbur Ross be trusted? Are you so your own YouTube channel. Gonna carry her at all?
interesting and sort of amateurish looking mitigation strategy turns out to hurt them. Oh. This podcast is supported by WordPress.com. With powerful site building tools and thousands of fees to choose from.